As the music industry continues to soar, talents from all genres are taking bold steps in order to succeed and grow their business. Opera singer and recording artist Abiodun Koya will stop at nothing to promote classical music. <laughs> Earning the spotlight at BET's Bobby Jones Gospel Show, she believes classical music has its place in this society. You know classical music is beautiful. When you hear it, it's beautiful. I've never seen anybody that would say, oh, even a farmer would hear classical music. And what kind of, how, what do you think the description would be if, if you asked uh, a, a farmer who just listened to classical music with all the orchestra and the instrument? He would say, nine out of ten times, oh, this sounds like a music from heaven. So it's just all about the opportunity and the exposure, what you're exposed to, what you're given, and what you're not. Her latest single titled, Flourish You, directs her voice to a more youthful audience. That was the brilliant work of my producer, Waleone. He was able to match both um, genres together to produce Flourish Me. If you listen to Flourish Me, there's Gong Gong at the beginning of the song and there's um, orchestral influence in, in different parts of the song. She's currently in talks with Kobams and King Sonia Day for collaborative projects for the new year. I have one or two artists that I have my eye on. I don't want to go further on that for now until, you know, the collaboration uh, has actually happened. But I spoke with uh, King Sonia Day the other day and we're just chatting and I said, Sir, I really respect you so much. You're a legend. I would love to do a collaboration with you. And he's, he was like, yeah, sure, absolutely. You know, but it's probably something that would take time, you know, because it's got a very busy schedule. I've got a busy schedule. Fans have been urged to vote massively for Nigeria's representative, Ms. Unaku Anyadike, at the Miss Universe pageant. Voting for contestants began on Monday. Votes by fans is expected to earn her a spot in the top 12. Fans are also encouraged to vote up to 10 times per day per registered account. According to the organizers, fans should vote using the vote.missuniverse.com as well as other social media platforms including Vodi, Twitter and Miss You app. The ladies have been engaged in several activities as part of camping events ahead of the finale. Over 90 countries are competing for the Miss Universe title this year. The main competition will be holding this Sunday and it will be hosted by Steve Harvey. The Philippines is a host nation for this year's Miss Universe beauty pageant.